Hi Pisces and this is your October 2019 Love Monthly Forecast Reading. This is me Chrissy from In the Stars by Chrissy.com. Now um let's see what's going on for you guys in terms of your love life and relationship and where are things gonna go from here onwards. Now I'd like to mention this that I'm doing this Pisces reading during the time we're in the full moon in Aries is very much activated in the sky. And whenever I do a reading during a full moon, you know, it creates this element where in the channel the channeled messages could be very strong at this time. Maybe it's something that some of you guys needed to hear. Or, you know, that kind of energy. <laughs> and at the same time, when I was, you know, doing the casting and doing this reading, my head suddenly started aching like crazy, you know. So you might notice that I keep pausing here and there. That is because, you know, uh, there's like a a throbbing sensation going on with my mind at this time so i'm not sure if that has something to do with the channeling that i'm doing right now with the reading for you guys in pisces but um yeah again um also before i forget i do want to mention that i feel that this reading could be could be just a possibility that it's related to sagittarius or could be related to Aquarius, that kind of energy. So let's begin. So for those that are in the sign of Pisces, I'm getting here that there is a very stuck energy going on here. You do have the Eight of Swords as the first card of the deck being crossed over by the High Priestess and the Faithfulness card. So this is telling me that, you know, um, there is a concern about a relationship, but I kind of feel it's a lot more complex than that. Because in the past, we are being shown here that you do have this five of cups, which means that maybe there are some form of past regrets, past scenarios. I really think that this reading is somehow related with, with Aquarius because it has that elements that energy but it's definitely different the messages that are coming in are quite different so maybe they have an an energy of an aquarius and you know a pisces energy combined in them so maybe they have a pisces rising or a moon in aquarius i mean i don't know it's just that it just gives me that feeling so anyway there is some form of past relationship that probably did not work out but from what i'm getting here is that this past scenario this regret has been going on for quite some time maybe pa in the past few months because it seems that you are not in contact with this person because of this six of diamonds so there has been probably no contact with that person whatsoever but maybe the feelings are still inside of you you still have feelings for this person that maybe you have left or have left you vice versa so you're now coming to a point where in you know i mean we cannot expect every pisces out there to be intuitive okay so the way that i'm seeing here is that there's a lot of mental work going on inside of you but this is the time we're in you are now being forced by the universe to rely on your intuition or maybe you are now acting upon your intuition you're trying to be you know you're trying to be logical about things because you do have this eight of eight of swords being crossed over by the high priestess it makes me feel that you want to have the right judgment on things but that is just not how you function as a whole so um you have this rune over here it's turned upside down but i do have a habit of opening them up 
just to see what are the underlying factors in that uh, reading. Okay, so um, this is um, the rune of a family, some form of um, history with family, family, that kind of thing. Maybe you are being binded by a family figure, that sort of thing. I kind of feel that maybe you have left someone out of responsibilities, I, I feel. But at the same time, you know, maybe you were not able to cope up emotionally on things. Like, um, if you're not happy with the present situation or what has been going on with you personally in your life and all that, there is a sense here that you wanted to feel happy. You wanted to have fun, have some form of thrill in life. You wanted to feel alive. And this may be something that you have been feeling even in the past few months. And maybe you have left this person because of that, you know. You might feel that all options that you take is not available to you. And the only way for you to feel better is to run away with things or to leave everything behind you. But um, I'm getting here that there's a lot of regrets that is coming in with you. It's like everything is sinking in now in a more rea realistic way that the, that the things that you have done, the things that you have, the, the things that you do, um, we're all worthless. There is some form of mental agony that I'm picking up here. We do have this King of Pentacles and the Prison card at the top um, of this reading. This is your crowning energy. So it makes me, it gives me that feeling that, you know, you may have acted based on your ego what will make you feel better but at the same time the things you have done in your life they're not always um they were not thought out very well and now i kind of feel that there's a lot of d depression depressive energy into this a lot of regret or a lot of, is maybe you're not regretting things but it's like maybe your conscience is kicking on you or maybe um, this could be an energy wherein you're feeling so hopeless and thinks that maybe there is a mix of blame there is a mix of energy wherein I had no choice I have to do this I had to do this maybe you have done something that's very wrong or that can be hurtful for someone else but it's not as if you you did it intentionally i kind of feel that you have a reason for that maybe you know you have you're carrying a burden that is you know that is mind-blowing for someone to understand maybe you are dealing you know maybe you are in your 20s or your early 30s or so and you're carrying a burden that is way too much for your age that kind of scenario so um yeah in the near future i'm getting here the devil card so the intensity of the things that you're feeling is becoming very strong by the day and there's also a uh an energy here that maybe the person that you have left is your soulmate maybe the person that you have left is someone that is meant for you you know when the devil card shows up it's not always a very negative card but it can tell us that you know it was with a fated person in your life that person is uh, you have that red string of faith with that person that kind of energy until if you are bonded 
by faith those kinds of things and maybe this is showing us that this person is someone that you are going to encounter again very soon or this can this can be a scenario wherein you get in contact with this person one way or another i don't know how but the energy is showing up here I do know that there's going to be some form of communication with this person or an encounter with this person, with this soulmate and karmic relationship. And I kind of feel that this is also the time we're in. A lot of things are being revealed to you. You just know things. You know, you do have the star. Um, representing the energy that you have at this time and the star fills us with hope at the same time can also be a form of depression but it always gives us some form of insight into scenarios and things like that it could be that something is going to be revealed to you maybe about the other person who is right or who is wrong who has been there for you all this time what is the truth you know you're somehow figuring things out because you do also have this hermit card as the outcome of this reading so there's definitely some form of revelation coming in and Honestly, there are things that are going to be revealed to you, but how this are, is going to end up, you know, the very outcome of your scenario into this reading, to everything that is going to be unfolding, is really up to you. It's like um, you will receive answers that maybe you have prayed for, that you seek. But what are you going to do about those answers? What actions are you going to take? Or are you even going to take action at all? Those kinds of things. So it will really be up to you. But I would say that this is the moment in time we're in. You have to do the right thing. Go to the light if it shows up to you. If there is an opportunity for you to take action on something, maybe to mend something, or I don't know. The Hermit card always is quite introspective. So I would say that the answers that you seek is not just gonna come from someone else, you know? I mean, that is a possibility, but more than that, I kind of feel that you have to rely on yourself. The things that you find out personally, not the things that other people tell you. That kind of scenario. And I kind of feel that you need to um, be responsible to the things that you have done. Whether it's in the past, in the present, or whatever it may be. You do want to have a form of stability in terms of your relationship. Because with how things are going with this reading, I kind of feel that there is a specific person that you really, really want um, to bond with, you know. You could be with someone else right now. You could be single. Um, but whether you, get, you want to you grasp, grasp that relationship, grasp that person into your life, is something that's going to be up to you. We have this rune of harvest and thorn. So it gives me that feeling that, you know, if there is something that you want to make, you want to happen, you know, that kind of energy. If there is something that you want, you need to do something about it. You know, it's like... You cannot expect money to suddenly have feet that comes to you, you know. You need to to do something to get the money. And that's just an example. But I'm 
what I'm really wanting to portray to to you guys is that if you want some form of relationship little opportunities that comes you need to take action on that okay so um also if you're the one who has been blinded with things in the past i kind of feel that you know and other people maybe the other person tried to reach out to you and you tried to shove them away this is not uh, about opportunities anymore you're the one who has to take the action because they have done their part the devil card is also very similar to the lovers also very similar to justice also very similar to judgment there's always you know two people two things back up with an entity that kind of energy so one way or another it has to be things just got to balance out okay also um we have the soldier card here and the soldier card if you don't know um not only depicts a certain person but also is a sign of a messenger a messenger that is a lot more aggressive in nature also um i'm getting here that if there is some form of blockages you have to do something to you know to break that blockage to break that barriers and that's why we have this thorn card over here block those blockages that is hindering you from moving forward hindering some form of relationship so you will find out some form of truth it's like an opportunity is going to come up an opportunity will be open to you things that you were not able to understand things that you are not able to to see before will show up in front of you will be shown to you you know that kind of thing and yes um i'm getting here that maybe the person that you're dealing with is someone very spiritual they could be very wise they have they have a lot of wisdom into things and maybe they try to help you try to guide you because we do have this king of cups position of others um, they try to help you they try to guide you and maybe because they are very spiritually developed um, you try to ignore them they try to help you and you know you, maybe you doubted them you, you didn't believe in them there was something that they have done that y maybe you find offensive or maybe you just ignored it but i feel that there is going to be some form of contact with that person and you know uh, there is some form of realization that what they said was the truth they made sense that kind of energy so um yeah so my question right now for you guys those that are in a sign of pisces what are you gonna do about it what the truth the information that you have found out or will find out what are you gonna do about it are you just going to let things be let things be the same will you um create more distance between this person and you to a point wherein things finally cuts off or will you do something to settle things will you make peace 
will you try to open yourself up to them again? Trying to reach out to them? Communicate with them? Those kinds of things? What are you going to do about it? That is what I wanted to tell you. Because not doing anything about it is can really be some some form of more can create more depression in you basically so what i can advise you guys is to to find out things to observe things and if you realize that you have made any mistake try to resolve it try to resolve it don't don't go with your ego don't be very prideful because pride can just you know um it never helps a relationship it's always something that breaks relationship apart you know um and as you grow old as you age it makes it makes pride very little you know it makes it very worthless that kind of energy again there could be some form of faded events when the devil shows up it makes you feel that there is something really faded that is going to happen and the funny thing here is that we do have the devil card in your near future and you do have the hermit in your you know end goal so it makes it makes me feel that whenever there are prominent major arcana cards showing up in the reading is something really important something impactful is going to happen in that person's life so um yeah i really don't know why i did mention this in my previous readings but i keep getting a lot of people having issues with their past so it could be a time wherein you may need to talk with someone to get some form of clarity or closure into things that kind of energy maybe tie the knot if you know if the opportunity presents itself those kinds of things so um but what i really do understand is that if there are some form of regrets in you this is the time we're in you need to do something to correct situations that you know that maybe you have wrongly done before i'm not sure if i worded that correctly but um i feel that this is more about correcting mistakes so that um your conscience gets cleared up that kind of energy so maybe this is something that you're experiencing or maybe this is what your partner or the other person is experiencing it doesn't really have to be you yourself because um for the most part i do expect that the Pisces watching this video are the ones who are sp spiritually developed, but it could be vice versa. So, um, yeah. So, right now, there is going to be a lot of regrets, a lot of revelations, and a lot of encounters that could really happen for you guys in the sign of Pisces. And I'm looking forward how this manifests for you guys. And this is my reading for you guys in the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. So um, anyway, if you'd like a more personal reading with me, just go to my website, indestarsbycreasy.com. And I'll see you guys again on November.